Hello everyone. I wanted to go ahead and finish up the problem that we didn't have time to finish in class. Just to remind you what it was that we were doing, we had started with this as our example, this 4x4 four four system of equations, and we had taken the coefficients and translated them into an augmented matrix. And our goal was to get that augmented matrix into reduced row echelon form using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Sounds like a whole bunch of fancy talk for uh, basically eliminating all the numbers so that we have ones on the diagonal and then zeros underneath the ones and zeros above the ones. So in class, we had had time to get rid of all the numbers that were below the ones um, and essentially eliminate the bottom staircase is what I was calling it in class. And so now we need to go ahead and get rid of the upper staircase. We want to do that by moving in a counterclockwise fashion. So I'm going to start by getting rid of the 5. And in order to do that, I want to use row 4. I don't want to use row 1 or row 2 because that would reintroduce numbers in places where I've already gotten zeros and that would make me backtrack and I definitely don't want to do that. So I'm going to take row 3 and add it to, in order to eliminate that 5, I'm going to multiply this 1 by negative, negative 5. So we'll do negative 5 times the row 4. And the result of that will give me my new row 3. So my original row 3 was 0, 0, 1, 5, and 15. And now my row 4 times negative 5 gives me 0, 0, 0, negative 5, and negative 15. So my new row 3 adding straight down will be 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0. So now I will redraw my matrix with my new row 3. First row stays the same. Second row stays the same. I have a new row 3. And my fourth row stays the same. So now to focus again on that upper staircase. The next term that I'm going to get rid of is going to be this negative 3. And I don't want to use row 1 because that will reintroduce terms. I can't use row 3 because it has a 0 in that position. So I have to use row 4 again. So I'm going to take row 2 and add it to negative 3. Uh, so I, I need this one to be a positive 3 then, so that will cancel out. So I'm going to multiply row 4 by a positive 3. And that will give me my new row 2. So I have my original row 2 of 0, 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 8. And then 3 times row 4, 0, 0, 0, 3, and 9. Adding straight down then would give me 0, 1, negative 2, 0 and positive 1. And so now I will redraw my system with that new row 2. First row stays the same. 1, negative 3, 2, 1, and negative 2. Now I have a new row 2. 0, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1. My row 3 stays the same. And my row force is the same. Looking at the staircase again, the next term that I want to get rid of, moving around clockwise, um, I guess I have a couple choices. I could get rid of the 1 next, or I could get rid of the negative 2. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish out this column here. So I'm going to get rid of the 1 right here. And again, I'm going to use row 4 in order to do that. So I will start with my row 1. And I will add that to 
Let's see, that's a positive 1, so I need this to be a negative 1. So I'm going to multiply row 4 by negative 1. And that will give me a new row 1. So my original row 1, 1, negative 3, 2, 1, and negative 2. And then negative 1 times row 4, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, and negative 3. Add straight down, that gives me 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and negative 5. And so now I will go ahead and rewrite my system. I've got a new row 1, 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and negative 5. And then all my other rows, I'm just uh, translating up from my uh, matrix down here. So rows 2, 3, and 4 are going to stay as they were. 0, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And 0, 0, 0, 1, and 3. Okay, let's look at the staircase again. We're getting there. We now have an entire column of zeros. So working in a clockwise fashion, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this number next. And I don't want to use the row above it because that will reintroduce numbers where I already have a zero. So I'm going to use the row below it, row 3. And in order to do that, I'm going to multiply row 3 by a positive 2. So I'm going to take row 2 and add it to 2 times row 3. And that will give me my new row 2. So my original row 2, 0, 1, negative 2, 0, and 1. And then 2 times row 3, 0, 0, positive 2, 0, and 0. Adding straight down, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1. And now I'll rewrite my matrix. Row 1 stays the same. I have a new row 2. 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1. And then row 3 and 4 stay the same. Look at the staircase again. Looks like I just have two more terms to get rid of. Let's go ahead and get rid of this two next, working in that counterclockwise fashion. And I want to get rid of that two using row three, because um, the other two rows aren't an option. They've got zeros in them. So I'm going to take row three and multiply it by negative 2 so that those two numbers will add up to 0. Okay, so I'm going to take my row 1 and add it to negative 2 times row 3. And that's going to give me my new row 1. Okay, so we've got our row 1, 1, negative 3, 2, 0, negative 5, and then negative 2 times row 3, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, and 0. That gives us 1, negative 3, 0, 0, and negative 5. So now I'm going to rewrite the system with my new row 1. 1, negative 3, 0, 0, and negative 5. And then the other three rows will stay the same. Okay, let's look at our staircase again. We are almost finished. 
we just have one more number to get rid of and that's this three right here and our only row that we could use to do that would be row two since there are zeros in the other positions so we're going to take row two and multiply it by a positive three to make those numbers cancel out so we'll take row one and add it to three times row two and that will give us a new row one so we've got our original row one of one negative three zero zero and negative five and then three times row two and then we add straight down one zero 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 negative two and now we can go ahead and rewrite our matrix with our new row one one zero 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 negative two zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero 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 one and three okay so after all that hard work we've now got a matrix that's in reduced row echelon form all the rows have ones as the first number that you come across and then above the ones and below the ones there are zeros we were able to clear out both the lower staircase and the upper staircase and in doing that we have now solved the system of equations these are our solutions here if you can picture these ones being coefficients of variables uh, this essentially is saying that we've got well let's see what was our we need to go back to our original problem and see what the variables were there here was our original problem xyz and w whatever order your variables are written in horizontally that's the order that the solutions are going to show up in vertically in our system over here so we've got xyz and w that means that these solutions here are for x y z and w and that's it that's the final step the whole purpose of this was to get our solution for a system and we were able to do that so now hopefully you can use this video to help you um, do the corresponding problem that's in your homework so good luck and email me if you have any questions